In today's video, we're going to be going over the strongest attack strategy at Town Hall 13. This isn't my opinion, it's just literally the strongest attack strategy at Town Hall 13. If you look at any tournament, you're going to see that this one is the most used and has pretty much the highest hit rate. We're going to be going over the basics and slightly more advanced stuff in this video as well. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So let's take a look at this base right here. Now I'm going to take a screenshot because we're going to go over the basic pathing that's involved and some just all around basics that you need to know when performing this attack strategy. Now your queen typically, I'm just saying typically you don't know what to do. Typically you're just going to go ahead and queen charge that town hall. Hopefully the CC is beside that town hall and we're just going to clear out a portion something like that with our queen. By doing that we're going to be taking down the town hall right and then we're also going to be lowering the cc and creating that nice pathing on the other side after our queen gets a bit of value there we're going to be sending in our king on the outside and he's going to get pathing that's going to look something like that all right that's simple enough and then that's going to create a nice pathing for a hybrid to go in between all of that and to just kind of go through the base like that that's pretty basic that seems pretty easy in my opinion and spells you just want to heal through there you typically just want to use the warden ability in that high dps area usually it's around this area right here but not always anyways let's get into this specific attack to kind of see how this is done in action so first thing like i said we're going to be queen charging that town hall here i'm using two super wall breakers just to guarantee that my queen does in fact go into that town hall compartment Queen charging that town hall, super simple. You don't need anything complex. This is this strategy isn't Queen Charge Lala where there's a whole bunch of different like intricacies that you typically have to consider. It's a very simple attack strategy once you get the hang of it. Yes, there is a queen charge, but it's typically a really small and simple queen charge. So Queen is just gonna be going ahead, charging in there. We're gonna be taking our time. As you can see, this is a very quick attack. And we're gonna be lowering the CC right here. As soon as the CC is lowered, I went ahead and put down the siege barracks with the king at the right side. I put down my king before putting down the siege barracks. That way uh, my king might absorb any DPS so that the siege barracks itself doesn't. My queen, unfortunately goes to ability, but that's okay. This is an OP attack strategy. And we're gonna destroy this base either way. And now, the queen made that funnel, the king's making that funnel, going through that, uh, what's it called, uh, scatter shot compartment, and then we're just sending in the hybrid in between all of that to just wreck this base. And then you kind of want to have all of them going together so that they can kind of spread out DPS for each other. That way you can go throughout the entire base much simpler like that. So if the queen is going through the base at the same time as the hybrid, as the siege barracks, they're all kind of pushing throughout the base all together so that they're all kind of having the DPS all spread out with them. And just like so, queen going to keep going forwards, hybrid going to keep going forwards. They, the hybrid went through that path that we created for them in that picture that I've previously so, shown you. And same with that siege barracks, the siege barracks created that nice path thing. Then near the end of the base, it's just kind of like what's left is clearing it off. Um, there isn't necessarily a specific plan for the very back end of the base. You don't want to end off on something dangerous like Town Hall or CC or something like that. But typically just what's left, you know, takes down the Town Hall. And here we had the Queen remaining. We had the Grand Warden remaining. We still have a whole bunch of Miners remaining. Some balloons remaining. And this base was tripled just like so. Easy 3 star. Now in this attack that happened right here, I actually didn't take down the CC with my Queen Charge. That wasn't planned, however, the RC was able to take down the CC. Sometimes this happens, not the end of the world. Alright, if when you're doing this, you can do this, and I've seen pros do this several times as well. And there's risk asso associated with doing it, because if it's a CC that your RC might have a difficult time dealing with, then and it's like air, then that air CC might just be pounding down on your hybrid, which can't necessarily fight back, and that's kind of going to kind of destroy you. Here, I could have lured the CC some other way, so this attack wasn't perfectly. This was the one major mistake. And then I also went ahead with a wall break on the outside, make sure that I also get an opening into that single inferno compartment. Then here is the king on the outside with that speed siege barracks again, king first. And then once again, the hybrid right in between all of that. The order for that is going to be miners, hog riders, warden, and RC. But if you mix that up slightly, it's not the end of the world. Um, 
King will be forced to ability here unfortunately I forgot to use a free spell onto that single inferno tower but she's gonna be heading into that single compartment anyways to take it down shortly and as you can see here as I'm entering that scatter shot compartment and protecting against the eagle shots I went ahead and raged up through here and used my warden ability sometimes you can use a rage my queen didn't need it so if you can see that your queen has a very easy path to go through just use your rage spell for your hybrid or just plan ahead and bring another heal spell you can just plan ahead of time and it's pretty simple to do so right so now once again i'm gonna be taking it down the last thing whatever is remaining is just gonna take it down the siege barracks and the king those typically go down uh, near the end and that's fine because the queen usually stays alive and if she even if she doesn't the healers are going to transfer onto the hog riders and then the whole army is just going to survive like so and uh, in this scenario the queen survived we still had quite a bit of miners just like in these last attack and the last couple of buildings are going to go down just like so let's go times four there and once again triple there you go last building going down in three two one and there you go let's hop into the next attack so let's take a look at this attack right here now we're going to be starting off by using a couple of balloons here and then we're going to be luring the cc because the cc is lurable right so we lure the cc we're going to use a couple hog riders to do that the cc this time wasn't right next to the town hall so not the end of the world and if the cc is unlurable and not next to the town hall you might want to consider t doing the queen charge somewhere else uh but in that case you know got like an eagle artillery typically typically it's like eagle artillery or town hall however town hall is much better and much stronger so here once again we were able to lure the cc and now we're going to be going after that town hall nice and slowly uh same thing uh, not really much to say here let's poison up on the queen right there as the lava puffs freeze up i'm gonna go ahead put down a sewer barb at the top right side on that elixir storage with or collector with a wizard just to make sure that my queen goes into that town hall compartment and everything's just going to keep going smoothly uh as soon as my queen starts taking down that town hall pretty much or as soon as it's like down kind of uh then i'm going to be starting off my hybrid so let's go ahead with another coke loon there to ensure that my queen stays alive through there and freeze up all that because that's pretty high dps those double expos and there's the king and the siege barracks going in through there uh, it's also gonna the king is also gonna absorb the uh eagle strikes which is great and then there's the hybrid getting sent in also if there's a whole lot of storages if there's a whole lot of storages and then defense are like far behind them then something you can do is you can send in your uh miners first and then uh, you can uh, what's it called you can delay like the rest of the stuff so you can delay the hog getters and the rc and uh, just like that same thing warden ability through that kind of middle compartment we're also going to rage here once again into the center because the queen didn't really need it uh, queen's gonna go down right now probably to that single whatever uh, now let's go ahead and heal up here once again was it there near the six and it's really the same deal like always another poison here because we don't really have much other places to use it we could probably swag that poison queen staying alive because the healers are actually tanking for her which is op we don't have anywhere to use those super wall breakers either and those uh, uh those headhunters are going to be used for cleanup and once again it's going to be a triple here we actually had a lot of wizards so we really just like a lot of wizards from the siege break so this base is really kind of destroyed here and uh that's a nice triple once again easy trip every day of the week and i hope you learned something valuable from this video you know you just want to queen charge uh into that town hall kind of you just want to queen charge into that town hall take down the cc uh and uh then king and siege bags on the other side and then send in your hybrid in between all of that and what you have to do here is you just have to practice a lot the more you practice the obviously the better you're going to become at the stack strategy Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I actually do hope that you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Because I will flash flashcards on every single day at 2 p.m. and comment what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.